Welcome to Cinema of the Rainbow, I'm Andy, thanks for joining me once again. Today, we're having a look at the 2023 Polish film Fanfic. So the story starts out following Tosha, a high school student who finds out that he's actually a trans guy, having to then navigate what that means in context of high school life, family life, romance, self-image, making the journey and going from Tosha to then becoming Toshek, kind of awkward, difficult, and weird. Now, Toshek, first of all, is played by an incredible young talent whose name I will not even attempt to pronounce. I will not try to pronounce any of the names in this movie just because it will be awful for you and embarrassing for me, so I apologize very much in advance. This young talent is non-binary and is the element of the movie that I foremost like, if not love. They were incredible in this movie. Now, Toshek lives with his widowed dad and the two of them have a really strained relationship, which seems to be kind of a fairly recent development before the film begins. And the problem here, as with a lot of other areas of Toshek's life, Toshek has this pent-up extreme anger in him that no one really seems to know where that comes from, what's the source. He goes to therapy, but the therapist isn't really much use. And Toshek doesn't really play ball with the therapist. So all this anger seemingly coming from somewhere unknown. Until one day he meets the new kid at school, Leon, whom he actually starts liking after a while. But through a series of events, he actually has to borrow some clothes from Leon one day. And seeing himself in those clothes has such a profound impact on Toshek like electricity starts firing and the real kind of journey begins. Now if I have to give the film some criticism right off the bat, I do think him finding out that he was trans happened a bit too quickly. I would have liked to have delved more into that a little bit. It was like almost, oh, boy clothes, the next day, fuck, I'm trans. And I'm sure for some people it doesn't happen like that. Click, shit, everything makes sense. But I think I would have liked like a progression of the self-realization a bit slower and I think Honestly, a lot of that would have been better than what we actually got. I know that there's this indication that the pent up anger was the symptom of the undefined problem all along, but what we go on to doing is your typical high school drama bullshit. You have the bully, you have the love triangle, you have the nasty teacher, and I don't even feel like describing or telling you about most of the characters in this movie because you know them already. You know exactly what to expect with most of this movie. There are certain elements in this movie I would have much rather they delved into. I love Toshek and the actor playing him. I love the relationship with the dad and the dad going through his own journey of self-realization and discovery of how he is and and his prejudices and everything like that. I would have much rather, I would have loved that movie, but this movie is kind of bogged down by honestly, most of it being very average and things we have seen a million times before. Now the one way in which it kind of tries to go beyond all that high school stuff is like the title suggests, the storyline of fan fictions and Toshek escaping into a fantasy world of the fan fiction that he's writing. And it's where he's in a band with various characters from the movie playing different parts in this fan fiction of this band. And it changes across like Toshek's mood and where we are in the story and stuff like that. And while an interesting idea, Honestly, I feel like you could have cut all this out and it wouldn't have impacted the movie, really. I feel like you could have done, done something with it, but you needed to make it more impactful and actually important. If I feel like you could cut an, an entire storyline out of the movie, it wasn't important enough. It just felt like a seamless way for Toshek to have kind of a voiceover and tell us his thoughts which I honestly didn't feel like we needed because the acting was so good and, and like the, the conversations and the dialogue was kind of working for me. So I don't think we needed all that. Although I did like the choices they made about the gay guy Conrad and the love triangle that he was low-key transphobic. We don't talk a lot about the transphobia in the gay community. There's a lot of that. And I think it's an important issue. Obviously the story isn't about that, but I like that they touched on it, you know? I guess Leon had some interesting things to do. I like the actor, he was likable, and they had some nice touches in there with the backstory, the trauma he dealt with. He also kind of had a daydreaming thing, but they quickly forgot about that, just left that behind. But honestly, those three are the, like, Tosha, Leon, and Dad. Those are, that kind of sounds like a children's book, doesn't it? Tosha, Leon, and Dad went on a hike. Um, but those three, I would have liked to focus it in more on those three just because everything else, the high school thing, just felt very bland and average to me. And it's because of that that even to my own confusion, I'm actually gonna say that I'm not opposed to watching this movie again someday. Just because of the charm of the main performance, I like the main character. That whole sequence of scenes, where Toshek is in the bathroom watching YouTube videos, learning how to bind and cutting his own hair and arguing with the dad through the door and the dad having his own crisis of his previous beliefs. I could have watched an entire movie just about that. 
like that relationship. I thought that was so cool. But what about you? Have you seen it? If so, what did you think about it? Maybe you have a completely different take than mine. If so, please let me know. I'm Andy, and this has been Cinema of the Rainbow. Thank you.